Hello, my name is Tim Skinner. I'm here at Broadband World Forum this week, and today I'm speaking with Joseph Celistio, who is the Senior Director of Open Source Networking Solutions at Radisys. So, Joseph, hello there. Hello, how Hi. are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good, doing well. Good. Yep. So, we're here at Broadband World Forum this week, and, uh, and I'd like to ask you, what are your thoughts on why open source is such an important part of the industry today? Well, the, um, I think that the, uh, the first question, basically, that, they, that I like to answer is that, why is open source not important? Right? Mm -hmm. I think when we look actually at the way that the evolution has gone as far as like the development in software and hardware, mm -hmm. we've seen basically open source contribute so much in the development, in the innovation, and also opening up basically for a lot of people to innovate. Right. right? So closed source basically from that perspective is byproduct of open source. Everything basically closed source is a kind of combination of what you've seen from the community and the integration that's more, more customer driven. Mm -hmm. So when we look at open source, really the role is that is to un, uh, provide untapped resources for the community, for the service providers, mm -hmm. and also for the partners and solution, right? yeah. the solution vendors. I think it is important for us to basically to understand that open source um, is carrier grade. If anyone basically have any doubt basically about the reliability of open source, they can take a look at Apache, take a look right. at Linux and so many others, right? Android and so basically that, that Google and others basically have started. Mm -hmm. So when we look at open source again, open source really is about the collaboration. It's about um, getting and reaching basically the untapped resources. Mm -hmm. And also it's about the iterative process that allows basically for vendors, partners, and the community to go together and advance basically a certain technology sets. Because if you take basically two people in a garage, double PhD, right? And you compare basically with people basically all around the world, hundreds of them, going to the kind of the same mission of trying to solve a technology, which one do you think basically can get there faster? Mm -hmm. And I think that's really what open source can do. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for sharing your thoughts with Absolutely. us. Before we, before we leave, is there anything else you'd like to add to that? Absolutely, I think the, um, you know, I'd like to add that Redisys is uh, definitely committed in the open source movement, in the open networking, open solution and strategy. Right. Redis is basically is a, a partner of CORD, which is basically CORD, its central office reimagined as a data center, mm -hmm. is one of the, uh, the open source consortium. And with the announcement basically also with um, uh, just happened basically just uh, yesterday, OnLab and ONF, Open Networking Foundation, uh, merge, so which means basically ONOS, Core, and ONF right. now basically become one. And I think that's important. This is the first time basically we've seen open source and standards yeah. become basically one body because what's the, the idea is to actually deliver a solution that really works for the customer, yeah. right? And, and I think that the, it's important for Redis to embrace this movement, right? Transformation basically does not happen with one vendor or one entity. It happens basically with, the, with all the other community with all basically the people around the world. So we at Redis believe that uh, it is important for us to re not to reinvent the cycle, but to provide integration and services uh, to accelerate basically the type of development and adoption for the consumers. Brilliant, yeah. thanks very much. My pleasure, thank you very much.